Hey everybody, just back with another video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, the, you know, the recent election in France. And the reason I want to talk about that is because a lot of Canadian lefties are now saying that, well, we should do the same thing. And basically what happened is in France, you had the left-wing uh, party leaders get together, essentially merging, and then they were able to defeat the conservatives that way. So a lot of Canadian liberals have said, hey, let's do the same thing here. And, you know, it is possible, right, where, you know, the NDP could just say, hey, listen, we're going to have, I'm not sure exactly the way they can do it in Canadian Parliament, because I think it's a bit different than in, in uh, France's Parliament, but you could essentially have, you know, Jagmeet Singh just pull out his candidates in Ontario, therefore his voters now need someone or someone else to vote for, they're way likely to go for the Liberals and they are Conservatives, right, so that's one way that the Liberals can gain a lot of steam back in Ontario. Now, that being said, you know, a lot of people on the conservative side, the populist side, the libertarian side are very worried about this potentially happening. And I made a video um, probably a few months ago now talking about how Justin Trudeau could possibly remain in power if he loses an election. Now, what that means is essentially if Pierre Polyev only wins a minority, which right now looks like he's going to win a majority, so we don't have to worry about it too much. However, if Pierre Polyev's numbers start to slip and he only wins, say, 165 seats, the Liberals, the NDP, and the Greens could go to Mary Simon, who's our Governor General, and what they could do is ask or say to her, listen, we don't have the confidence in this new Conservative leader, so you should let me continue to be Prime Minister. And she may very well say yes, making Justin Trudeau the Prime Minister for his fourth term, even though he loses an election. Now, this is a very quick breakdown there is it it's it's a little bit more complicated than that but i do break it down in that video it's called this is how justin trudeau can remain prime minister even if he loses if you want to go check that out i'll throw the link of that to that video in the description of this video as well just so that you can go check that out but a lot of people are worried about well is trudeau's not just going to go away right he's not just going to bow out he's not dropping out and he wants to go out and battle it out with pierre polyev and then the question was, well, why would he want to do that since he's losing so bad? Because they have tricks they can play. They can merge. They can have NDP candidates drop out and kind of work together to help the conservative or the liberals rather get more votes. Therefore, possibly getting more seats. Now, as it stands, the conservatives have such a lead and they're going to get so many seats or so many ridings rather that it's, it's very unlikely that anything that they would do would work right now. However, if Justin Trudeau actually does something good for once, or a couple good things, which just seems unimaginable, before the next election, you could see his numbers start to go back up, making it closer. They don't necessarily need to beat Pierre Polyev outright, they just need to keep it close enough so that Pierre Polyev does not win a majority. Now, if you haven't checked out Northern Perspective's channel, they do a great job on all this stuff. They're very, very good at covering. They're doing a live stream tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And apparently they're going to be talking a lot about this. So I'll definitely be tuning in. I strongly suggest that you do as well. They are, the, in my opinion, the best Canadian uh, political channel on all of social media. Uh, they do really, really great work. So check them out. Join their chat. Ask some questions. Donate to them if you can. Definitely like and subscribe to their channel because, they again, they do such great work. But I'll be tuning in there as well just to see if I can get even more information. Now, that being said, my opinion is that if somehow Pierre Polyev does not win a majority government, he will not be allowed to be prime minister. They're, they're going to do something to try to block him from being prime minister. And I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain, that if Pierre Polyev does not win a majority and only wins a minority he will not be allowed to be prime minister. Another thing to worry about, if that happens, you're going to see major backlash. And I'm not going to make any predictions or, you know, say anything crazy here, but like it could get crazy. There's a lot of people who want Justin Trudeau, you know, jailed and not, or at least tried for treason, and I think he should be tried for treason. But to have him remain prime minister after he does not win an election would certainly trigger a lot of people. And it's not going to be good. So, hopefully, we can see Pierre Polyev just kind of steamroll Trudeau, keep hammering out the, pol the political issues, 
the crime, the inflation, the immigration, everything like that, because he's doing well. He's going to keep doing well. And the liberal numbers probably will start to drop, again, unless Trudeau somehow does something good. But if he does do something to convince liberal voters or conservative voters even to go back over to the liberals or some of the NDP to go liberal, it could get close. If that happens, it's it's very uncomfortable, especially if you know they, they do the they use any of these merging tactics. So you know we'll see what happens here. I'm not um, I'm not so I'm not so sure that it's going to work because again I think Pierre Polyev was just he's going to win so many seats and so many ridings that it's going to be impossible for the liberals to try to do anything anyway. But you know that they will try. They will do anything they can to stay in power. So, you know, it's, again, let, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always enjoy reading those. But, you know, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, and when do you think the election is going to happen? Do you think there's going to be a snap election after January of 2025? Do you think we're going to have to wait all the way until October 2025? And who do you think is going to win and why? Do you think the Liberals are and the NDPs are going to try to team up and use all the tactics they can legally? Or maybe do something illegal? I'm not saying that for sure. I'm just saying, what do you? I'm just asking, what, what do you guys think? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that Pierre Polyev would be allowed to be the Prime Minister of Canada? It's a very interesting conversation and it's a very interesting topic because we haven't really seen it happen before. But it probably will happen one day. Is that day coming in October of 2025? I sure as hell hope not, because we definitely need a change. Again, I'm not saying Pierre Polyev is you know this great guy. I know he's a politician. I don't fully trust him. But what I do know is that life in Canada was way better when the Conservatives were in charge, when Pierre Polyev was housing minister. Rent sure as hell was affordable back then, wasn't it? Well, it's not anymore. Not to mention all the other bullshit policies and all the crime every we've talked about this many many times before right I don't, I don't need to repeat it everyone knows what the issues are but the last time things were good is when the conservatives were in power so we, we need them back there's no other option to beat trudeau right now so you know for ppc supporters i understand where you're coming from i'm more of a populist or libertarian whatever however you want to categorize me uh, i'm not a conservative but conservatives have the only chance to beat trudeau right now and that's what needs to happen for the better of this country. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I always appreciate that, and it really helps the channel grow. Please leave your comments in the comment section as well. And I'll be back shortly with another video.